everyone welcome to the second part of the Houdini flip simulation okay in first part we have discussed about how to simulate or set up a particle system to create this viscous kind of look, uh, fluids okay and after that we have to mash it out so in this tutorial I will show you two ways to uh, create a mash on the particles okay so let's get started first of all what we need is we need to create a new node which we call meshing so we need to create a geometry node and let's rename it to meshing okay so here we're gonna mash it out so let's jump into this here we need to create a node to import a simulation so let's create a dop import which is this okay here we will select our network so go to this option operator chooser click on that and we will select a flip sim okay so let's switch off these and let's go here and nothing is happening why because we have to click on this fetch geometry from the network okay so now you can see that our simulation is here now we can work on the meshing part okay so to do that first of all we need to create a node which we call a vdb from particles vdb from particles okay so let's enable this by clicking on this blue eye so we can display viewport so nothing is happening why because the voxel size is 0.1 so what it how it works is it depends on the uh, particle separation okay so you have to add the value exactly or less than the particle separation value which you are using to simulate the particles okay so let's go to the simulation and here we will put our the value around 0 0.02 okay still not working it's giving us an error an error is ignore 370 small or large particles okay so here he's saying change minimum radius in voxels okay so here we can change it around so now you can see that we can easily see the vdb voxels okay so let's play with that maybe 1.3 no it's not working it should be 1.2 okay so that's been done now next what we needed we need to smooth it out okay so let's create another node which is uh, vdp smooth and in vdp smooth we will select smooth sdf it has more options that's why we are taking this so let's enable it so now you can see that it's smoothed out and it's looking pretty cool okay and if you find it's not uh, smooth as you want what you can do is you can increase the iteration values so you can see that it's more smooth now okay sometimes what it happens is uh, you have to apply dual smooth sdf nodes okay according to the simulation and the particles you have okay so next what we need is we need to convert this okay convert vdb okay and let's enable this blue icon okay to display here in the convert to option by default it's volume so we need to change it to the polygons okay and you can see that now it's a geometry very smoothed out geometry okay because we have less particles that's why our uh, mashing is not that high quality okay so it depends on your simulation how many particles you want to simulate so that's the first option which we have created okay now the second option okay so let's again enable this particles and what we're gonna create is particle fluid surface okay so with this option also we can create mashing okay it's a node which has everything in it okay like you can see that uh, it has particle separation value voxel scale 
okay even it has those filtering okay which we like added manually over here okay so let's start doing it enable this so we can see the mesh and it's looking very bad actually it's definitely not looking the way we want okay and uh, let's so first of all let's change the particle separation value 0 2 okay so now we are getting it and voxel scale should be around 0.55 mm. okay and let's go to the filtering option and enable this smooth option so let's yeah you can see here in here how it's working okay so after enabling this it it's giving it giving me a, a smooth mesh okay so we can definitely add here values like by default it's two we can add that four option so it's more smooth uh, maybe five well, let's make it four and again we will add the final smooth okay so that way you can uh, mash your particles in this way also but definitely I, I would prefer this one because it has more control okay and it gives you the better meshing so if you want to like compare we can do that here like add a switch node okay and let's connect this one here and this one here so i have to enable this to see the things through my switch node okay now on the zero i have the first option which i have, we have created procedurally completely okay with these three things okay and on the one i have the default particle fluid surface okay so according to me the first option is looking much better and more smooth okay and it completely depends on you because sometimes you will get the results far better result from this node also i guess these are the two ways we can easily uh, mash our particle system in houdini okay and i hope you guys like this tutorial and find those tips useful and you will definitely apply in your future projects when you're mashing your fluids like in a flip with a flip solver okay and uh, if you like it please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification as soon as my video is uploaded so take care take care of yourself guys take care of your families and definitely i'll be back soon with a new exciting tutorial again till then see you bye bye